Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to War Robots. I am your host, Gunner. Okay, guys, today is kind of a special episode. There is no gameplay, there is no news, there's no rumors, there's no none of that stuff. Today, we're going to be kind of doing a discussion video and talking about the past, the lore, the overall big stuff that has been coming down the pipe from war robots in years past that somehow still make it to the surface. So if you don't know what I'm talking about at this point, you should know that I'm talking about the Bastion. Okay, We're going to be talking about what the Bastion is, what it has done for war robots and where is it going all right if you guys are uh into this kind of thing you know seeing hearing about stuff from generations past and all this kind of thing then stick around if not then just close it out but for you that are staying here you guys are in for a treat so the bastion what is it well Long, long time ago, in a country far, far away called Russia, there was a little, tiny, shithole company called Pixonic. And one of the developers or creators in Pixonic had this grand idea to create a spider bot. Nay, a spider bot with shields. And on top of that, the spider bot was supposed to be huge. Well... When they started to create this behemoth, uh, they realized how big and how powerful it actually was. So when they, and they actually developed it all the way to the point where they had a promo. Now it didn't, it never went on the test server, but there was a promo for it. And we're gonna get into the promo right now. Okay, guys, the Bastion. <clears throat> so, since you just saw that video, all right, let's talk about it. First of all, let's talk about its overall construction. The Bastion was a, like I said, a behemoth of, of, of a, uh, a robot. It had three forms. It had its first form, which is what kind of you see right here, and we'll jump into that slide in a second. Okay, so here's the first slide, all right. Uh, the Bastion had this kind of a uh, diamond-looking top head, as you saw in the other picture as well, and that, it, it would carry two heavy weapons on each side. But this would be the first form. Now, this would be the form if the Titan was on, if the Titan, if the, well, he would be a Titan. Um, if the robot was on the field, this is what you would start out with. <clears throat> then he would basically pop up a smaller shield from the sides, and you would get this. Now, this right here is his second form where the two shields have come together and have created the energy shield. That's right, Bastion had an energy shield. It didn't have just a physical shield, it had an energy shield. <clears throat> and it 
it would go into this kind of crawling bastion mode where it would lift itself up a little bit and then go into this crawling mode and it would be able to carry this um this uh what do you what do you call it? the uh, the energy shield? It would be able to hold an energy shield, a giant Aegis shield, if you will. We're gonna go into the third version. Okay, now this is the third version, where the shield would come out, fold up, and then close right in front of it, which would be its physical shield form. Now, since we discussed the Bastion and its functions have to tell you the bastion was too strong to put on the field at the time whether they didn't have the technology whether this behemoth of a robot would just have been too strong for all the other robots in the game for whatever reason they had to scrap it it is in my personal opinion that they scrapped it because of that reason because the Bastion was just too powerful. It would have just dominated the whole game. <clears throat> so what did they do? What did Pixonic do? They cut the Fujin or the, the, the Bastion in half. They said, okay, we're going to put one side. It's going to be its energy shield, which is what became the Fujin. And the other side became what's with the... Uh, physical shield and the you know the big tankiness which was the Raijin so when they split that up that's that's what the two bots together formed the Bastion now what has the Bastion done for the game the Bastion keeps surfacing every now and again okay all the time and the Bastion has done so much for War Robots. It's still to this day, it does a lot for War Robots. The concept of this robot still exists today. For example, not just in Spider Bots, okay, you know, giving rise to the Spider Bots, all Spider Bots, you know, whether it be the two, you know, the two I just mentioned, or uh, an invader, a raker, okay, anything that's basically a spider bot. Not only that, any robot that carries a physical or energy shield, that robot has given rise to it. Even the weapon, uh, the um, <clears throat> the uh, the uh, Aegis shield, or not the yeah, the Aegis shield weapon. The Aegis Shield, uh, uh, yeah, the Aegis Shield weapon that you can uh, t- uh, equip to your robot. Uh, it has given rise to that as well. So, and on top of that, the Bastion has also given rise to Titans. That's right. The Bastion was supposed to be so gigantic and so big. Okay, that <clears throat> it was supposed to be the first Titan. It is the first Titan. It has given the concept of the biggest robot in the whole game. Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> if you remember when the uh, Kyle Rogers idea, the pilots all came out. They had a picture, the one I just showed you. This one. <clears throat> when the pilots first started coming up, I think it was the Spectre pilot or even Kyle Rogers himself that talked about giant robots that could think for themselves. Titan robots that could think for themselves. And they showed this picture. Well, that's exactly it. <clears throat> the Bastion was the first Titan. Even though you're going to say like, oh, Gunner, but there's trebuchets on the side and everything like that. Well, you got to remember, this stuff was all just concept. All just concept art, okay? The, you know, they, they had to put something on it, you know, just to show that it held, you know, weapons. 
but we would know this image today with super heavy or the super alpha the the alpha um, Titan weapons so <clears throat> If you can imagine it with two, you know, alpha weapons, uh, alpha titan weapons, that's what it would hold. So, the titans came from this. All the robots, the bulwark, anything with a with an energy shield came from this. Anything with a physical shield came from this robot. All your Galahads, all your Lancelots, all your, the, like I said, the Bulwark. The Bulwark is a bipedaled, um, if you think about it, the Bulwark is a bipedaled Bastion. It has a physical shield and it has an energy shield. It's a bipedaled Bastion with two heavies on top. So there you go. You know, it's, there's a lot of aspects from the Bastion that just keep coming in. It's obvious that War Robots does not want to get rid of it. Now, <clears throat> here's where things get a little bit frustrating for us. So any person who's been playing this game for, I want to say about five years or more, knows about the Bastion and has geeked out over the Bastion at one time or another, or still is geeking out like myself. If you watch um, Adrian and Manny and Predator, their YouTube channels, <clears throat> there's a robot that just came out called the uh, Solid Jaeger that has the, uh, the Bastion paint on it, if you will. It has a whole, you know, different rework of the top. To make it look like the Bastion and the legs and everything like that, so it's got a got a whole art skin re re rework going on here. If you go on Predator's page, he even has a whole video titled, you know, um, he has a whole video just diving into the lore of the Bastion. You know, what did Pixonic do and everything like that. Every major YouTuber has the the Bastion video somewhere is because we've been waiting for it for so long and they know it they fucking know it Pixonic fucking knows it like the only way you could implement the Bastion into today's gameplay because of how much meta there is is you would have to make him a titan you'd have to bring him out in his in his full glory with his all three forms, just gigantic, huge Titan spider bot with two heavy alpha weapons. Because if you can imagine what this Titan would do, he would drop down on the field and start crawling across the field. And he would put up, he would go into his first bastion mode and then put up his energy shield, continuously be able to crawl and fire and then he would be able to stop, go into full bastion mode, and completely put up the energy, the, 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 the physical shield. And that physical shield could take millions upon millions upon millions of damage. Okay, so it would be a fortress that would just be walking across the field, or crawling across the field. Okay, and, oh man. I get so excited over this because I can't imagine something this massive and titanic completely coming into the game, but I want it so bad. And every so often, Pixonic will hint at it and then say nothing. Hint at it and say nothing. Do a little something towards it, like I show you here with the, uh, the pilots and, and the artwork, uh, and then just nothing. And then recently, they just released the Solid Jaeger. So let's get into that. Okay, here it is, the Solid Jaeger. <laughs> the little bastion, I guess, the wannabe. See, Pixonic does this to us. They sneak a little bit in there and then they'll just go quiet about it, right? Or they'll sneak it in so quietly that we don't even notice it. Like here, the Solid Jaeger. 
most people, if they would see this, they'd be like, oh, it's just another skin for the Jaeger to try and get us to buy the damn thing. Well, <laughs> to us OG players, Pixonic knew what they were doing because they knew that we would get this pass and go for the Jaeger. And they didn't advertise it. They didn't, they just kind of snuck it into this pass. And I haven't bought a battle pass for five months. But the fact that the Bastion Jaeger is there, I have to get it. I have to get it because that's what Pixonic, and Pixonic knows we're gonna do it. And Pixonic knows we're gonna make a video about it. And Pixonic knows that we're gonna buy it. And Pixonic knows that we're gonna upgrade it and put modules on it because we are suckers for the Bastion because we've been waiting for the Bastion to come out for over five years. And every little thing that they put out about the Bastion, we just suck it up like straws. <laughs> we just eat that shit <laughs> because we want them. We want them to come out so badly that we will probably, and I can't believe I'm saying this, probably a lot of us probably spend a lot of money trying to get this thing because it's such a staple in the history of war robots. It has given rise to so much. It has been the inspiration and the backbone of so much. This one robot continues. I mean, it's 2020. War robots came out in, what, 16? Uh, 14? 14? Yeah. Uh, 15, I think. Yeah. 15, it's 20, it's five years. Yeah, so, no, it's six years, so, yeah, 14. Came out in 14. Uh, and it has given rise. Like, it is, it is still, still inspiring new stuff that comes out from War Robots. Yo, still. It's 2020, and we just got the Solid Jaeger. It is such a staple, and most of us... In, in our myth and our lore that we would we're just waiting for this Titan to come out and I kept saying it I kept talking about it Islander has it in this video somewhere about the uh, the bastion so if you guys don't have the pass all right and I probably won't even complete this pass at all but uh, if you guys the pass uh, Get the pass so you can just get the Jaeger. Um, will will it ever come to light? I do not. I, will the Bastion ever come to light? I do not know. But in the meantime, you can play with something that's a little bit like it. And that would be the solid Jaeger with its Aegis shield. And, <clears throat> and yeah. <laughs> so, Pixonic, thank you very much for releasing the solid Jaeger uh, paint and fuck you because you keep teasing us and you keep teasing the OG the original players of War Robots with this fucking thing and you just don't release it and you know it and you motherfuckers <laughs> and I say that in the nicest way possible uh, but you keep playing this cat and mouse game okay and, and fuck you for it so alright everybody that's it that's the end of the game. That's the end of the uh, video here. And, you know, if you want, uh, I'm going to post a video, uh, a couple links to uh, Predator stuff where it shows you about the Bastion and also to the solid year your gameplay he's got going on because that guy is just ridiculous with it. And uh, you guys will see him and I'll post links in the, my description to his two videos on it. And tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the, uh, the uh, not just the Jaeger, but the Bastion in general. Um, I really want to see this Titan come out, and eventually it will. Eventually, Pixonic will release the Spider-Bot Titan. I just hope it's the Bastion. It's the big fortress that we've been waiting for. All right, everybody, take care, and as always, this is Gunner.